So individuals that have a mental health diagnosis are often underserved and stigmatized. Um, this impacts their daily living skills, it impacts their quality of life, and that's exactly why Southeastern is here. That's why we do what we do. We want to promote humanity and hope for the individuals that we serve. The program's called the Alternative Sentencing Program. This was created about two years ago. It's designed to decrease cost of incarceration for individuals by maximizing the community-based services that are available in lieu of incarceration. They are able to successfully and as independently as possible live in the community with those supports. In addition, we're promoting and increasing their quality of life. You said that long word. What is that word again? Recidivism. That first year the program was running, our recidivism rate was 72%. So 72% of them did not have any new charges because they were actively engaging in their treatment plan. I was completely unaware of Southeastern Behavioral. So when our office brought in a caseworker and she explained what she was able to do, it was incredibly exciting for us to have that availability of someone right there in our office that we could send clients to, or just having a resource for them to go and talk to that focuses in that area, that that's their expertise. I think that Southeastern helps them get those next steps done when they're at a really dark point in their lives. For me, it's helping someone get better. So someone who can says to me, I have these thoughts, I know that I did these things because of how I was feeling, I'm using meth, I can't afford my mental health treatment or you know the co-payments or anything. Um, using Southeastern makes you as an attorney feel better. You're helping your client better themselves to not come back to here. No one wants to see someone 10 years down the road or five minutes down the road with the same charge. You wanna help them better themselves. People who have mental health and chemical dependency um, concerns, they meet with me and we complete some evaluations with them and determine what is a good treatment plan for them. A major benefit of this is the, the client takes an active role. They engage in this plan versus just being imposed on a, a treatment or a plan from the courts. So they, they're actively engaged in it. So they're more likely to continue services and follow through. One of the cases that I've worked on um, for quite some time now with someone who has severe mental health issues and he's been incarcerated solely because of those mental health issues. At the time of sentencing we got him out in treatment so he was functioning in society showing the judge you know I can be better I can do this I'm not what you think I am and I'm all of these other things. Because of the resources that Southeastern has been able to connect them with I was able to convince judges that they were good candidates for probation instead of going to prison. I was able to convince them that with Southeastern's help, they could get back on their medications, start working again. I think that without Southeastern, it would have been harder to convince a judge that probation was a viable candidate for some people that I have with mental health problems. And these specific therapies help to um, make changes to negative thought patterns so we have more positive action, more positive behaviors, um, and more success for that individual. It can save the county and the state money by keeping these individuals out of jail and keeping them into our community and allowing them to be productive citizens and giving back to our community versus taking from our community. We recognize that humanity is important, that regardless of your mental health diagnosis, you're a person, and that's something that gets lost oftentimes when the first thing we hear is their diagnosis. And then there's that fear, that stigma. And we like to strip that away and just meet the person where they're at and treat them with the dignity that they deserve. 